Welcome back to our channel where we take a look at some of the most popular private jets and helicopters and dive into their features. When it comes to aircraft of different kinds, there are not that many companies that can give proper competition to Airbus. This aviation company not only plays a big role in surging the worth of the private jet industry, but in the helicopter industry too. This company has a lineup which consists of some fine and amazing helicopters. The H-175 is among one of the exquisite helicopters in the lineup of Airbus. The H-175 is a much better helicopter than its sales will suggest, and you will know that as you get to know this bad boy a bit better. So here is everything you need to know about the Airbus H-175 Super Medium VIP. But before we get on to that, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and lets us know we are helping to enrich lives out there. If you are into aviation, have a look at our new aviation compilation channel, Aviation Central. It is the first link in the description. We would highly appreciate it. And without any further ado, let's get on to the video. The H-175 is a super medium lift twin-engine helicopter introduced by Airbus Helicopters. The 7-ton class H-175, which is formerly known as the EC-175, was developed by Airbus Helicopters as its new generation medium-sized rotorcraft. Certified in accordance with the latest and most demanding regulatory requirements, it is designed to meet the demanding requirements of the oil and gas industry, search and rescue, or SAR, and emergency medical services. The helicopter entered service in December 2014. The H-175 helicopter was exhibited at Cabo Frio and Rio de Janeiro, Brazil in June 2015. It complies with the CS-29 airworthiness standards, as well as the safety standards set by the International Association of Oil and Gas Producers, or IOGP. The H-175 delivers on all counts with its long-range, smooth ride, excellent payload lift, and outstanding cabin comfort. The H-175 helicopter is the redesigned and improved version of the EC-175 helicopter produced by Eurocopter Group. The helicopter is a complement to the heavy-lifting Airbus H-225 helicopter, which is used to perform offshore operations. It is suitable for oil and gas operations, search and rescue, and emergency medical and public services. Eurocopter was rebranded Airbus Helicopters in January 2014, and Airbus H-175, the redesigned and improved version of the EC-175 helicopter, was introduced by Airbus Helicopters in late 2014. The H-175 features a state-of-the-art design incorporating crash-worthy airframe and energy-absorbing landing gear, seats, structure, and fuel tanks. It includes an emergency flotation system certified to endure Sea State 6 conditions. The helicopter has a high-set tail rotor with a ground clearance of 2.3 meters to enable movement near the rotor craft during operations on landing pads. The H-175 also completed a 30-minute dry run for the main gearbox certification test. It comes with extra-large push-out windows for quick and easy egress. The rotor craft has a length of 18.06 meters, or 60 foot, and a height of 5.34 meters, or 17.5 feet. The helicopter has been designed for ease of maintenance. Its tall cowling facilitates access to a variety of systems. The flared exhaust stacks whisk heat away more quickly from the work area, and a variety of ladder attached points are built into the fuselage, enabling quick climbing. Airbus Helicopters has delivered the first VIP version of the H-175 and the executive a VIP H-175 are are badged ACH-175s and sold by Airbus Corporate Helicopters. Combining unparalleled elements of style and comfort with the largest cabin in its class, the VIP version of the H-175 offers a superior level of cabin interior provided by Pegasus Design, which has built a worldwide reputation on business jets and super yachts. Through the year 2019, ACH had delivered eight VIP-configured ACH-175s, including two aerial tenders for super yachts and several head-of-state aircraft. According to Frederick Limos, ACH CEO, Limos says the ACH-175's large cabin, all 434 cubic feet of it, lends itself to bespoke interiors with all the latest features including cabin management systems, a small galley and seating, veneers, accents, and fabrics as plush as you'd likely find in any large cabin business jet. The 95 cubic foot baggage compartment is larger than those in some mid-sized corporate jets. Upon the delivery of the first H-175 VIP model, Airbus was really excited. The first delivery of a new version of the H-175 is an important milestone for our company and for the H-175 program. The H-175 enlarges its operational capacity to a completely new mission segment," said Gualam Fauri, president of Airbus Helicopters. The VIP variant is also great news for the private and business aviation market, as flying in a helicopter has never been so close to a private jet experience. 
In addition to the exclusive cabin and the refinement of materials, the VIP version of the H175 offers some distinct developments. These include a hinged door, which optimizes space inside the cabin, a three-step electrical footstep for ease of access, electronically dimmable windows, and mood lighting. Passengers will also enjoy in-flight connectivity with SATCOM, an in-flight entertainment system with LCD screens, a moving map, and images provided by the tail fin and tail skid cameras, all controllable through dedicated touchscreens or personal devices. Also contributing to the jet-like flight experience is the effective soundproof cabin, which allows passengers to communicate without headsets. The H-175 is available in a VIP version, seating 6 to 8 passengers and an executive version, seating 9 to 12. All versions provide a jet-like smooth ride at all speeds and a climate-controlled cabin, even when the main rotor is stopped. Featuring more window area than walls, the rotorcraft ensures panoramic views for all passengers. It completes the upper end of Airbus Helicopters product line for the business and private aviation sector. The Two-Zone Environmental Control System, or ECS, eliminates Hobson's choice of either freezing in the cabin or frying the cockpit or vice versa. Each seat has its own overhead gasper, and passengers can adjust the ECS via side ledge controls or an app on their smartphones. The ACH-175 doesn't have auxiliary power unit, but one engine can be run on the ground while declutched from the rotors, providing power to cool the cabin prior to passenger loading. The standard cabin noise level is just 71 decibels. Add a bit more insulation, the number will slide further down. It allows normal tone of voice conversations between passengers without the need for headphones. Airbus assesses a variety of suppliers for its executive and VIP cabins, but performs all the integration and installation at its VIP department in Marignane in France. This ensures a single point of responsibility for everything in the cabin, as far as the customer is concerned. As we are entering the last section of the video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Power comes from a pair of Pratt & Whitney Canada PT6 67E turbo shafts that can propel the H-175 to 19,685 feet in under 7 minutes. The H-175 has good one-engine inoperative performance. The maximum takeoff weight is 7,792 kilograms, or 17,180 pounds, and the standard fuel capacity is 695 U.S. gallons, or 2,631 liters. The engines, main gearbox, and rotors all have an initial time between overhaul, or TBO, limitation of 5,000 hours, the standard fuel tank has a maximum capacity of 2,066 kilograms. It allows the helicopter to attain a range of more than 600 nautical miles and an endurance of 6 hours. The H-175 has a recommended cruise speed of 150 knots and a maximum cruise speed of 165 knots. It has an empty weight of 4,603 kilograms or 10,148 pounds and can carry up to a maximum weight of 7,500 kilograms or 16,135 pounds. In the spacious and comfortable cockpit, the Helionics avionics system offers all the latest safety features. This avionics suite is integrated with a dual duplex 4-axis automatic flight control system, or AFCS, for precision and stability. It incorporates four 6 by 8 inch multifunction displays, an extensive self-monitoring system, and an explicit alerting system. The safety features also include automatic hover, which corrects for wind drift. The avionics suite includes an intuitive human-machine interface, or HMI, that can reduce pilot workload. It features unique flight envelope protection and all engines that are operating AEO, One Engine Inoperative, OEI, and Hands Off, One Engine Failure Management Systems. The cockpit comes with a Traffic Collision Avoidance System, or TCAS2 Autopilot Coupling, allowing automatic collision avoidance. It also includes automatic takeoff and go-around procedures at maximum power, enhanced situational awareness with an integrated digital map and a dual flight management DFM system. The cockpit crew actions can be recorded by a camera, which can be used for training and procedure improvement purposes. In December 2014, the first production H-175s of the oil and gas industry model entered service with Belgian operator Nord Zee Helicopters Vlaanderen, or NHV, for operations over the North Sea. By August 2015, the first two examples had accumulated 1,000 flight hours over 750 flights, carrying a total of 11,000 passengers. While achieving a dispatch rate in excess of 90%, NHV has ordered a total of 16 H-175s. In March 2015, Bristow Group became the then largest customer for the type, ordering a total of 17 H-175s for offshore oil and gas missions. A further five units were added to the order in 2017. By January 6, 2020, 
the order for 22 units was canceled as part of Bristow's emergence from Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The H-175 offers a jet-smooth ride, comfortable cabin, advanced avionics, good operating economics, competitive price, executive seating for up to 12, and nearly 300 nautical mile loaded range. And what does it cost to get the feeling of an executive in the air by the Airbus rotor aircraft? It's somewhere around $17 million for a brand new model. If you are looking to go for pre-owned models, that will set you off around $9 million. The H-175 does have a couple of minor issues. It is not available with folding main rotor blades for shipboard operations, and the baggage compartment door is so high up that a ladder is required for loading and unloading. A consequence of positioning, the built-in emergency floats. But other than that, the H-175 is a solid, comfortable, albeit underappreciated performer, delivering large cabin capabilities for a mid-sized cabin price. Well guys, that's it for this video. Click the links above to check out some of our other videos. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. See you in the next video.